guys welcome back to a brand new video and this is our inverter uh, this is from 2007 so it's a 16 years old inverter as well as battery this battery never ever replaced so it's also from 2007 so it's a 16 years old battery now the problem is the inverter is not giving me any kind of backup so we just turned off the inverter because if we turn on it uh, and we put some load on this inverter it's automatically shutting down itself because the battery is not giving us much backup and i think the problem is you see this corroded terminal we need to clean it today and if we clean it hope this thing will give us a little bit more backup guys you can see i attached a device on this battery and this is called decelerator and i think because of this this battery living like 16 years uh, so first i'm going to disconnect the decelerator from the battery this is the positive terminal and this is a negative terminal and i need some kind of gloves because if you see if you uh, touch this kind of terminal it probably harmful for your skin because of acid now guys let's open this rusted bolt Look at the condition guys, this terminal. So acid completely destroyed this nut. Now let's open the positive terminal. Look at guys, there is nothing on this board. My question is how can I open it? Oh my goodness, it's fully rusted, the terminal is fully rusted, yeah. Look at the condition guys, we need to replace this terminal too, we yeah, need to cut the wire and replace this terminal. Guys, let's remove this. Uh, this nut is completely fixed here, so I am not able to remove it. So use some WD-40, this WD-40, let's see. <laughs> so this is the condition of this bolt. Next guys we're going to clean both of these two terminals. We're going to clean it completely. Then we use pair of two nuts and also we're going to terminate this cable with new connector. Now let's check the battery voltage. So we'll set it to 20 volt. So this is the negative terminal and here's the positive terminal. So you see guys battery voltage is fluctuating because it's not properly connecting with the terminal. You see guys the battery voltage is 12.38. So the battery is in good condition. Now guys I'm going to clean these two battery terminal using some baking soda, hot water and a brush. So it put some hot water, baking soda, baking soda. And I will take a old used brush. When using it, we're going to clean it. We're also going to clean this side. Guys, make sure you wear a gloves. If you don't wear any kind of gloves, it can burn your hand. It 
putting some injection. Next, we're going to clean this terminal with this metal brush. You can use sandpaper if you want. If you guys have this Dremel tool at your home, you can use this to sand it. guys look at this terminal so clean now guys let's check the battery voltage so you see 12.39 constant 12.39 voltage so the battery is in good shape okay so after putting load, if the battery voltage remain like this, 12.23 or 12.6, so then the battery is in good shape. Now guys, we need to fix these two terminal and we'll cut it from here. Before doing this, we need to clean this dusty inverter. It's pretty heavy. Let's clean this 16 years old dirty inverter. So as you see guys, inside is so dusty. So we're going to blow some air. Now guys, we're going to cut this inverter battery connector and here I put two copper terminals. So first we'll cut this red. So we'll cut it from here. So guys, I'm going to solder this cable here as I don't have the cramping machine. Guys, somehow I able to solder the wire with this terminal.
heat sink. Now let's take the inverter and connect with the battery. Now guys let's connect the positive with the positive and negative with the negative. First connect the negative then we're going to connect that. Before that we're going to express some WD-40. Look guys how neat and clean this terminal is looking. Now put on and over that we will put another washer. The same thing with another terminal. And here we're going to connect the positive wire. Guys, make sure. Okay. <laughs> Guys, do not reverse battery negative and positive wire. If you do that, then it's going to blow your inverter. So, guys, let's plug the inverter in. Inverter plugged. And as you guys, is started charging. Let's see whether it's give us backup or not. Yeah, it's giving us backup too. Battery. It's right now it's running on battery and inverter. Now it's started charging. Guys, we charged the battery for near about 10-15 minutes and after that we have a load shedding the power gone and right now as you see it's running on battery and everything is running so this fix what guys so guys thanks for watching the video hope you guys like this video if you guys like it make sure you smack a big thumbs up on this video and if you guys have any question any suggestion let me know in the comment section below that's been said my name is Vijay i'm signing out and i will meet you on my next video till then bye bye